Welcome back to this part of the video overview of Google Apps for Darshan International School. Uh, for this part, I want to uh, give you a glimpse of what Google Sites is, uh, which is accessible from your uh, email inbox on the left hand side at the top, directly next to documents. So when you click the sites, this will get you to a page where you can create your own site or you can browse other um, sites within DJIS. Now, actually, no one has contributed to this except for me. Um, let's let's say I want to browse the sites done by other uh, people in the Dajan International School. Um, these are categories that I have organized them. Some are not accessible for all. Some can be accessible for all. It depends on the kind of sharing I did for that document. And um, in the uncategorized sites, I have some of the sites that I had done before. And um, let's say uh, this is one site done by a teacher. This is Math Grade 2. It's not done yet, actually, but it's based on a platform on a template. Okay. So uh, you can use templates for Google Sites uh, to design your own uh, website. Uh, let's go back and give you a walkthrough on how to create a new site. So we create a new site here, and you choose the template. You can choose whether you want the blank template, you can start from scratch, or you can browse the gallery for templates. This gallery of templates is like uh, a sea of gems that you can choose from. Now for, uh, for our domain, I have uh, designed three templates based on other templates actually that you can use for a classroom you can go public and search for hundreds and thousands of templates that suits your uh, main purpose now for Google Doc, uh, for Google sites you can choose sites for classroom sites your own uh, website personal website or teacher website you can do it for your own uh, electronic portfolio and you can help the students to start their own uh, Google Sites. Um, let's say I want to start uh, a new website which is based on this template. I'm going to have an overview of this preview of the template. Now this is a template uh, that I have uh, shared in uh, DJIS. Um, <clears throat> if you like this template then you can uh, click on use this template for your site so you click use this template and this is now here um, then you can name your site let's say um, I want to test it this is only a presentation so um, testing okay this is the URL where uh, the site would lie at sites.google.com slash a slash djs.ed.sa slash testing. If you don't want this URL, you can change it to any other URL like um, testing sites. Uh, if you want to use it as a classroom website, I prefer that you use a simple word here so our students can access uh, with ease and you just click create the site using the template that I've chosen now it's getting your site done so what you do in here is to customize the site add um, stuff add images redesign the whole site using the edit page now this site has a lot of pages here announcement page, calendar page, class assignments, documents, projects, and student pages. All of these are pages that you can edit. Uh, now I'm here editing the home page. When I click edit page, this will convert into a like a, a field of a web processor page where you can change whatever you want here. You can let's say remove the here, remove document. You don't want document, you can remove it. Okay. You can um, insert images from the insert function here. Whatever image you want. 
Let's see, I want to insert this. Okay, and add some text. And you can add a lot of things. You can add um, table of content. You can add a calendar from your Google Calendar directly into your home page here. These are the things that you discussed earlier. It can be inserted directly or from directly from your documents into your website or from your presentations that are here from your Google Docs. You can also insert maps. You can insert whatever, virtually anything that you want on the Google Docs. Also, you can insert um, videos from YouTube or Google Video. Let's say I want to insert it. So you go to uh, YouTube and search for the video that you like to insert. Copy the URL and paste it back here. In addition, you have a lot of things here. And uh, if you click more gadgets, this will open a new um, world of gadgets, more than thousands and thousands of gadgets that you can use on your website. Let's say I want to add this uh, animated fish here. And you can design whatever you want. Okay. And then you click save. In this case, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to save anything here. You can also go to more actions and add pa and add pages here, create pages. You can manage the site from here. You can manage site layout, the colors and fonts, the theme. After that, you save everything that you've done and return back to the site. Now, um, if you want to share it with your collaborators, you can click site permissions. <coughs> This function is the same as Google Docs and Google Calendar. Now, in this case, people at Dajan International School can find and edit. So they can find it and edit whatever they want. I want to change that because I don't want anyone to uh, find and edit that. Since the Google si it's Google Sites, I want it to be private. And click Save. Now, in this case, no one can access that. No one can see that unless... I give him that permission. So I want to add another person to that. Let's say in the same example, I want to add this website and give him the permission to edit. Now this is the in this case that user is the only one who can view and access and edit the same website. You notice here that I received an email notification. He's the one he's the only one who can access and edit the same website as I am and uh, uh, at the same time since I have uh, did the permission as private he cannot share it with anyone unless I give him that permission okay um, <clears throat> this is this works more like a wiki where you have a lot of collaborators and I think this has a lot of potential especially in writing and doing projects in science and math and all this and the kinds of subjects um, where you, they can collaborate on one website. They can create a website of information. They can create a, an encyclopedia of a certain type. And the uh, actually the um, the options are limitless, uh, only bound by our uh, creativity. And this is mainly the overview of Google Sites. Uh, <coughs> Moving now to the last part of uh, Google Apps overview, which is the Google Groups, which is very useful for emailing system, sharing system, and discussion forum.